Morocco, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Aussie Lucy Usni. Well, here's another one, ladies and gentlemen. That has got everyone in the kickboxing world talking. Andy Power Sour versus Lucine Aussie Usni, dropping seven kilos of weight to drop down to fight the legend that is Andy Sour. Karen. Seven kilos, and it's not fat, is it? No, it's not. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of athletes, they do drop a lot of weight. You know, the, the fighters do. Um, but he was knocking people out at 77 kilos. He's 26 years old, 58 fights, but he's now dropped down to 70 kilos because it's a more competitive division. And you know, he's beaten these guys. He didn't beat hand. Nicky Holston, let's be honest. He knocked him far yes, out him in the first round. He did take a bit of a, bit of a one sided defeat against Art Artem Levin. At 77 kilos, but he's decided to move down to 70 kilos because it's more of a competitive division. But will he carry the power? That's the big question. Yeah, and will, will his stamina hold out? That's really, really interesting. Also, Andy Sauer is also coming off a loss against Abraham. Raquini, a very, very good fighter um, from Spain. We've had the pleasure of watching live against Kevin the Hitman Harper. But I tell you something, Kieran, this is another intriguing match here on its showtime. You know. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sour Power, Andy Sour! But I tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, you couldn't meet more of a gentleman than Andy Sour. No. Very, very, very talented, very well respected, and a really, really nice guy to boot. Yep, he seems to be around from year dot in kickboxing world, 28 years old, oh, so many fights. For everybody as well, was not he? He yeah. won every part there is possible. Completely seasoned pro. Always comes in with a game plan. It's going to be a little bit of an unknown with Ozigny because, you know, like I said, he's coming down in the weight. The guy's tall as well. And he's a little bit short, but look, 155. Unbelievable record. Incredible record, isn't it? There's some of the names. Oh, I am to the pro Samui. Shabari. Yeah, he's also beaten Arthur Kashenko. I think Arthur Kashenko's beaten him as well. This could be a cl I, I keep saying that. And I, I sound like a broken record. But Sour Power and we, it's another, Sour. another classic in the making, isn't it? It is, yes. Sporting the uh, Sour Power returns to the ring here on its showtime facing one of the rising stars, Lucine Alzi Ugni, who is looking for redemption having lost his title bout in December against Artem Levin. And he's very motivated against Andy Sauer, but Andy Sauer has gone on record to say that he has nothing to gain by beating the Moroccan. So full, look, it now that it has a different belaging gekregen the pot, door the commotion, door the media aandacht and enzovoort enzovoort. Andy Sauer mag zijn borst nat maken, want uh... Voor mijn nieuwe gewichtklasse, maar uh, voor mijn nieuwe uitdaging. En uh, hij is aan het afbouwen en ik ben niet meer opbouwen. Dus, uh... Ja, hij komt net nieuw in de gewichtsklasse, heeft daar nog niks bereikt of uh, behaald. Dus ja, ik had zoiets van ja, dan, wat kom je hier eigenlijk doen? Met alle respect, maar ja, een wedstrijd is een wedstrijd en uh, ik ga de wedstrijd aan en uh, daar is geen uh, respect meer in het gevecht. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight will be three rounds of three minutes according to showtime rules. And this referee of this fight will be Mr. Mufadel El Ghazawi. And this fight is sponsored by Facebook.com slash It's Showtime NL. Oh, you can go, you can join us on Showtime Facebook. www.facebook.com. Everyone's got Facebook, haven't they, really? Forward slash NL. Showtime. It's a height difference here straight away, isn't yes. it? Yes. Did they, said, they did say to me that uh, Alzi was going to use his reach. Andy has got to get close and use his crisp combination, his sharp leg kicks. Can he get past the range of Alzi? Has, has Alzi got the stamina and has he the power at 70 kilos? Has, Andy, has, sorry. Has he carried the power down as well with the weight? Round That's the big question. Because his nickname is Ozzy, as he's known out here, isn't he? Yeah. But, um, very elusive character. Bangs hard. Andy Sauer, though, is one tough cookie. And he's very intelligent. He fights he clever. Picks away. Tough. Pitching. 
He's got to watch that knee up the middle, Kieran. As he throws very well. A good right hand from him. He's feeling the power of Alzi. Yeah, Alzi, uh, you know, he, he does start early with a lot of power, as you saw against Nicky Holes, and he will try and bang you out no matter what, but usually from the off. Yeah, so, Block from Andy. Yeah, Sandwich seems to be just checking him out, doesn't he, for the first minute or so. You see him what he's got. Well, you, can, you can't bowl in against a guy like him, can you, no. Alzi, because he's, he's, he's a knockout specialist. Sound very focused though, isn't it? Yeah. It's at this level, I mean, you know, you know as well as anyone, Kieran, at the level that, you, you know, you operate at, make a mistake and it's goodbye, isn't it? Yep, you know, showtime level. These aren't just, you know, people having the first fights. These are guys with you know, 150 fights Andy Sowers had, you know. If you make a mistake against him, you'll be punished. It's opening up nicely though now, Vinny. Yeah. Picking each other apart, aren't they? Seen it all before the one is Anthony Andy Sauer. Yeah, he has. He's been in big fights, you know, all around the world. Yeah. He's fought everywhere that has been. He's won every title that has yeah. been. He's battled the names, hasn't he? Yeah. Giorgio de Potosian twice. Walk out, Paul Promok, or what? Starting to get his will with his way of stepping forward, though. Yeah. Alzi shouldn't be letting him in, should he, Kieran? No. Long shot from him. Knee up the middle. Doesn't seem to have the same power, no, though. No, he doesn't, does he? Kieran, no. Great That's where, kick. yeah, this is where... This is where Sauer will do his best work up close and personal. Just chops away with that low kick, lovely body shots. Won't leave you alone, will he? No, he's like a wasp, isn't he? He is. Yeah. Alzi hasn't got the power at 70, has he? He doesn't look like it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when you go down a weight division, I mean, he's oh, gone down a weight division, he's one of the best 70 kilo fighters he is. He hasn't gone down a weight yeah. division. And he does look laboured though, doesn't he? Looks, yeah. It looks like he's laboured. Yeah. I mean, come on, 7 kilos. I mean, it's not as if he was wobbling around, is it, you know? No, even at 77 kilos, he was lean. Yeah. He's a tall, tall customer and uh, very skinny at 70 kilos, but... You know, he was saying to us earlier, he still felt, he felt powerful, so... Yeah. Yeah, he said. Uh, I think Andy Sauer is going to go for. Uh, I think he's going to go for broke. Now he's landing all his stuff in a very, very intelligent corner with Mr. Andre Manard. Yeah, uh, he's an absolute. He's not genius. Andy Sauer is not messing around, is he? He's no. doing his job. He's getting in there. He's scoring excellent points. He's scoring with some great inside low kicks, body kicks, and body punches. And then he's just. It's like you can just see the professionalism is unbelievable. Yeah, he's so cool, Close isn't he? Down the ring, it's like a walk in the park from, isn't it? He does seem to have been around a million years, though, doesn't he? Twenty-eight. He obviously keeps himself in shape two. all year round because he fights very regularly. Break. Come back. Nice knee. He's got to watch for that. low kicks. Very. Nice knee up from Alzi. Oh. Good shot to the top of the head. Good. Yeah, it was a count. It was a count. Good shot by Sauer. I think he actually was slipping, but left hook landed. No, no. It was a count. Sorry, but there shouldn't be any booing. You did get caught with it, hard luck. Well, it's the game, isn't it? Yep. I mean, it wasn't like a, a knockout punch, but... Nice. Still lovely. So I was trying to set him up now. The jab to the body with the right hand very cleverly thrown. He's not going to have the punch resistance at 70 kilos, is he? No. This can also happen, you know, you go down the weight division. A lot of weight training, a lot of water loss from your body. Yeah. Chris combinations going back, but lacking the snap. He normally has, Kieran. 
lovely combination yeah. by Andy Samuel though. The timing, precision and very accurate. Yeah. Nice, no very clever. Beautiful. Looking. Go. Oh. No. Okay. Great. Starting to do a little bit of the number on him now, isn't he? He is, yeah. Great combinations going in. Speedy, sublime. Nice to watch, isn't he? He is, it's lovely to watch. That shouldn't be happening, should it? Andy Sauer kneeing him in the head. It shouldn't, should it? Really? Just, it just shows you know, what Andy Sauer's all about. So a lovely left low kick, isn't he? Either you know, side. And also, you know, I know that Aussie's lost the weight. But Kieran, you still can't take away the performance that Andy Sauer's putting on. No. Against a dangerous man that is uh, Aussie in the white shorts. Oh, some fantastic boxing combinations. He's drilling these kicks in as well, wasn't he? He's doing a number on him now, isn't he? He is, yeah. A Just few wait. body shots, Kieran. I yeah. think he'd go. People have been saying, you know, Andy Sowers passed his best, but no way. He's not. No, he's not. Absolutely no, he's not at all. He's so sharp. He took Raquini lightly, and it's his own fault for, for losing that fight. Against, uh, but he, I think he'll openly admit that. He's just getting bullied around, yeah. isn't he? He's not got the snap, has he? No. Aussie, has he? <laughs> Aussie, has he? <laughs> Great low kick to either side of the leg as well. He positions his body, moves on the outside to get that back leg as well in the left low kick. Very busy. Stop. Nice. End of the second round. <laughs> the look there to say, you know, I'm di uh, I've got a number over you. Yeah. That was a very, very clear round. Yeah, that was very clear. Absolutely jam past four hands out here. Yeah, I mean, look. Yeah, it was legit. Side of the head. Yeah, yeah legit. It was. It's crouching down. He was in a low position. He got caught on the back of the head. These things happen. Yeah. They do, they, they do when you've got gloves on, don't they? Yep. But, you know, Ozzy's going to have to really go for it and let his bombs go. Whether he can or he can't, I don't know, but, you know, Andy Sow is, is in that zone. Isn't yeah. So, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things, like I said, you know, everyone's saying, oh, you know, every, people will be saying, yeah, but he's lost seven kilos, blah, 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 blah. But he took the challenge. Yep. He wanted to do it, so he's, he's good enough to good enough to believe in himself, and he's good enough to do that. But Fight. round there, three, had a hurry there in the corner of uh, Aussie there, just telling him to come out and fight. Look at us. There you go. Great shots going in from both boxes. Good knee through the middle there. Great! Great! He's on fire, isn't he? He is, yeah. Andy Sauer is uh, tremendous hand speed. Absolutely. Oh, hard low kick on the inside from Sauer. Snaps, doesn't he? Throws yes. a jab and it's on you with a low kick. Yeah. He's not out of it yet, though, is he? Has he? No, has he? no. He's, he's been G'd up in the corner, isn't he? By yes. the golden boy, of course. And, uh, he's trying it, but you know, it just, just doesn't seem to have the power. Andy Sauer just doesn't let go. No, do. no. He's got to watch it though, because that knee up the middle is very dangerous. Of Alzi, a good high kick there from Andy. He's doing things what a shorter fight shouldn't do yes. against a tall boy. Jumping yeah, but, knees and high kicks. But be, be honest though, Alzi's bringing himself down to do that, isn't yeah, he? He's bringing his head down. Look at that! Amazing speed. Oh. Alzi comes blistering back. Amazing hand speed when he lets him go. Heavy oh, leg fantastic. kick there. 
How's he needs to answer back? I'll tell you what, this is one of the best I've ever seen nice. in style fight, though. Yeah, oh, fantastic, yeah. Absolutely. How's he, though? Showing heart of a lion, though, Kieran. Yeah, he is, he is trying to come back. Needs some of that Moroccan magic, doesn't he? He does, yeah. He's still got a dangerous knee, but... Sauer's not, you know, he's not easily fooled, is he? When Andy Sauer lets his shots off, it's beautiful to watch, isn't it? It is, yeah. Blistering hand speed. He's just torn the cart, but... 23, well, 20 seconds to go. A high kick whistles past the chin of Alzi. Bridge too far, but what I like, he's tested himself, hasn't he, against the skills of this amazing champion. Yeah, absolutely. And he is an amazing, amazing champion athlete. End of the match. A one-sided affair, really. Yeah, and that's but what you like to see after yeah, Jamal. Let, let's be honest, you know, here's, here's the net, we'll never take negatives from it, here's all the pluses. He's took seven kilos to come down to face one of the best fighters in the world at 70 kilos. Lovely, that's lovely. What can you say? That's showtime, isn't it? It is indeed. You're watching here, you know, that was a knockdown in the first or second round, but hand speed of Andy Sauer is phenomenal. It was so quick. Yeah. Yeah, he lost a hell of a lot of weight coming down, but that's the chat. You see what I like about this? The challenge he's took to drop down 70 yep. kilos. He could have took an easier fight against someone lesser than Andy Sauer. Yep. That's a test of him. Absolutely. And Andy Sauer is one of the best 70 kilo fighters in the world. Without doubt. Ozzy's got in there and he's gone a distance. Hasn't been knocked out or anything like that. He, fantastic. And we'll be seeing the return, ladies and gentlemen. I've been told of the man that is... Ladies and gentlemen. Bandler Harry, the golden boy, very soon. We here have a winner of this contest. By unanimous decision from the red corner. Yeah. Andy Sauer. That is from Aussie, and a great performance. A please show your appreciation for Mr. Aussie for giving such a great, great battle. He must have gone through mm -hmm. hell though, Kieran, to get well, to 70 kilos. He keeps fighting at 70 kilos, eventually he'll get used to it, you know, he's got to get the mindset as well. Yeah. Is that the diff one of the difficult parts of being a fighter? Yeah, and heavyweights are so lucky. But, um, I think when you're cutting a lot of weight, a lot of fighters do, you know, there's a lot of famous fighters around the world who cut a lot of weight, a lot of water. You know, it can be dangerous, but if done correctly, good diet, good training, and over a long period, it shouldn't be so bad. But also, mentally, you've got to get you prepared as well for it. Well, there you go, then, from a newly crowned three-time world champion, Mr. Kieran.